Parents, it's time to shine. If you've got a rowing machine and you are looking for the perfect time crunch workout to get in, as a parent, I know exactly how valuable it is to get a workout in where you get warmed up, worked out, and cooled down quickly because we don't have a ton of time in our day. This is the workout for you. So without further ado, let's just get into the warm-up piece because that is an important aspect before we get into the workout. So number one thing that I would like for you to do to start, go ahead and take those hands, reach them out to the sides. Give, your, just, give yourself a nice big stretch, open up your chest. Oh, we spend so much of our time with our kids hunched over. <laughs> Make sure that you open up, take those hands, reach them behind your head, stretch your elbows open. Okay, take that head, grab it with your right hand, gently pull right ear to right shoulder. Uh, lengthen on that neck, rotate, go left ear to left shoulder. Be gentle with yourself. Don't pull too hard. Uh, very nice, give me five neck rolls each direction. And to the left. And here's a favorite of mine. Because we never wanna be shrugging our shoulders while we're rowing on the machine, we always wanna keep our, our shoulders down using our lats to engage. So what I'd like right now is squeeze your shoulders up to your ears real high. We're getting it out of our system, but we're also getting our shoulders to be able to relax, shrug, 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 and drop and relax. Feel that relaxation? That's what you wanna be holding throughout the workout. Now let's do that one more time. Shrug, 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 and relax. Very nice. Go ahead and take that head. Give your chin kind of a pull down into the chest. And okay, now I want you to take from your chin, I want you to try and roll vertebrae by vertebrae into just a bit of a curled position. This is like a vertical cat cow. And then you're gonna bring it back up, spread back open. Roll from the chin down, tucking the pelvis at the bottom. And then as you uncoil, you do the opposite where that pelvic tilt, pelvis tilts forward. Oh, open up. Now we're gonna take that right leg, put it up onto the machine. Left hand is gonna reach across to your foot and you're going to give a nice rotation here. So you're gonna kind of look over your right shoulder. And switch sides, left leg up. Grab the left foot with the opposite hand and rotate. Very nice, bring it back around. Now do me a favor, take your feet, put them on top of your straps. We're gonna grab our handle and we're just gonna start moving, okay? Just light rowing, not a whole lot of pressure. And especially when we put our feet on top of the straps, this is A, a really great drill, but B, it's helping to teach us not to rely on the straps to keep us in place on the machine. Instead, we wanna think about pressing our whole foot into the foot stretcher all the way through the warm up. And that's really important here is that you push your foot all the way down, all the way through the stroke, especially at the back end. Because if we're used to having the straps there to keep us in place or to pull us back, then it's actually spending energy where I have to pull from my quads or my hip flexors to keep me in place or from falling back on the machine instead. I wanna think about staying tight through my abs, squeezing my legs tight, and pushing my feet into the machine. And that teaches us good mechanics. How do I use my legs on the machine? How do I not pull myself forward? All right, good habits. Hang out with the right crowd. Don't take the influence from the straps. They're not your friend. So what I'm looking for here is that you just gradually increase that comfort level. Okay. And as you feel good, start increasing the pressure a little bit. That means just pushing harder through the legs, trying to make the flywheel spin a little bit louder. Good. Okay. And let's take it up again, just with pressure, not with stroke rate. So to do that, you're really trying to push through the legs. Imagine you're on the floor. Let's say you're laying on your back. 
because we're parents. Your kid comes over to you and wants to Superman on your legs. All right, so you put your feet on their chest, you hold their hands, and then you press your legs up to the sky. That same press of the legs is the same press that you're doing on this machine. Maybe that's why we're rowing in the first place, so that we can help our kids Superman really well. For Superwoman. I am a girl dad after all. So, if that makes sense, think about that, right? Push the machine away from you, rather than trying to pull the hand to you. Now you should be kind of getting warm at this point. You want your body to start feeling hot, but also you're still pretty relaxed. We're not getting too hot and heavy yet. This is just to start getting the body prepped for movement. And we're gonna take five strokes at our hardest pressure yet. And these are gonna be the final five strokes of the warm up. Here we go, on this one. One. Two, keep those feet pressing into the foot stretchers. Three, especially the ball of the foot. Four. Five. And nice and easy, just wind it down, turn the pressure down. And let's collect ourselves. Two more strokes, that's one. And two. Very nice, set that handle down. So what's up next is going to be a 10 minute workout in which I'm gonna reveal all the details as we go along. So the only thing that you need to do is set up your monitor. Now again, if you're not on a Concept2, as always, that's fine. If you can set time, great, do it, set 10 minutes. Otherwise, just follow along with me because I'm gonna be rowing for 10 minutes. So it doesn't really matter if you set yours or not, but know that I'm gonna walk you through it. So from the main menu, we're going to go to Select Workout. That's the B button, New Workout, D button, Single Time, B button, and hit the minus button C twice, one, two. That gives us 10 minutes on the screen. Hit the check mark E, and we got 10 minutes on the screen. With that being said, you are now warm. Let's strap in. You get your straps back here, parents. You're welcome for that. And now get into the machine, grab that handle, sit ready, and row. So what I want you doing now is following along with me. Okay, match my stroke right here. I'm setting up at an 18. Now again, I'm gonna tell you how this workout goes as we go along, okay? So, the biggest part, as you start to get comfortable with the stroke, right, with the machine, because this is a beginner workout, is to learn to relax on the recovery. That's the slide forward. Don't ever be in a rush to slide forward because you can't actually do any work to the machine in that phase. So if you can be relaxing instead, you can serve energy to then put it into the drive where you actually get output, okay? So as we work out, I'm gonna just be throwing some ideas at you to get you comfortable. All right, that's one minute down. We're gonna shift to a 20 here on this one. Bring it up to a 20. Now what's beautiful about this workout and its completion is again, because knowing we're busy, we got stuff, we got life. Sometimes you only have 20 minutes to get an entire workout in. That's great. You can repeat this workout and you should to help you learn how to enjoy this machine more and also to make sure you're getting a good sweat in. So what I want from you now, holding this 20, is that you are focusing on being strong on your push. Push those kits up into the sky. Push that machine away from you. Hang off of your arms and let the legs do the work. That is an important skill here. Nice. We're gonna make another shift up two more beats on this one. Here we go, up to a 22. Follow along with me here. After this minute, I'm gonna start throwing some curveballs at you. So get prepared. What that means is right now, I want you to really focus on pushing. Get that heart rate up. Stick with me on stroke rate and try to match my timing exactly. 
meaning be as quick on the drive as I am and as smooth on the recovery. And you'll notice that there's a ratio there. It takes me longer to slide up the recovery than it does to move through the drive. So at the next minute mark, I'm gonna throw a drill at you. And this drill is about helping you to organize the mechanics of the stroke. So we're gonna add a pause at arms and body away on this stroke. We're gonna pause right now. Pause, that's arms and body away. I'll give you a second to catch up to me. We're gonna do this every stroke. Go. Go. So now start to notice how the knees are not bending. Go. What I'm doing is disseminating. How do I move the arms and the body separately from the legs? Go. And so we're teaching our bodies, teaching your body, how do I move appropriately on this machine? It's a learned behavior. I would never expect you to know how to do this unless somebody's coached you before. So be very comfortable with that. Go. Woo. Even, even if you're used to this, go. This is still a good workout. I'm breathing heavy, clearly. Okay, go. So we're just practicing those mechanics and drop the drill, let's go. Back to full strokes. Now we're going up to a 24. Okay, now try and implement the drill where the arms and the body move first and then the knees move. How loud can you make your flywheel through the push? How smooth can you be with the arms and the body away? You can absolutely do it. It might feel weird. It might feel out of sync. It might feel mechanical. That's great. That's all good. Mechanical is okay when you're getting started. We're gonna throw another drill at you in the coming minute. Okay? Getting ready to go, but enjoying the ability to put on pressure right now. Adding in arms away pause on this one. Arms away pause, just the arms away now. I'll let you catch up and go. Just the arms moving. Go. Closing the hips, then the knees bend. Sit tall, go. Brace through your core. Make sure you aren't leaning too far back, go. So much can be worked on here. Go. Make sure that you're not hitting your body with the handle and then holding it. Go. You wanna be fluid, let the handle move in and out. Right there. Go, I'm gonna keep that in and out as your focus for the remainder of the minute. Go. Handle moves in and out, fluidly. Go. Go. And we're dropping the pause on this one. Good, now we're taking it up to a 26 stroke rate. Here we go. Enjoy the freedom of the rate now. Here's your chance to get in some work, but don't forget the drills that we're working on. Twenty-six on the rate. Think about those arms. Think about those hips. Make sure you're not overreaching at the back or reaching too far forward at the front. Do it all with good mechanics. We're gonna throw in another drill here. This time we're gonna have two pauses per stroke. Arms away, arms and body on this one. Go, we close the hips. Let you catch up. Go, take that stroke. That's pause one, go. That's pause two, go. Take that stroke. One, go, two, go. Notice I'm changing the time on you. 
So I want you to follow, go. I don't want you to start getting antsy, go. And then relax the legs as you cruise up every time. Go, go. Don't get too antsy. Smooth, go. Be smooth, go. There it is. Don't pull yourself towards the catch or the front of the stroke, go. Go. Let yourself drift. Go. 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 Go, and we're dropping the pause. Here we go. Taking it up to a 28 on rate. We're gonna hold this 28 through the final two minutes. This is your chance. Push through the legs, match with me on rating. I'll set the rate, you put the pressure in. Hey, you do the work. I got the rate for you. Here we go. Almost through this first minute, push through those legs. Come on. So the last minute of your workout for the day, and then we cool down. How much strength do you want to drive? How much better do you want your endurance to be? Here's where you work. I got rate for you. Put in the power. Push through the legs. Push. Be crisp. Extend the knees. Hang from the arms. Think about the drills. Enjoy it. There we go. Final 12 seconds. Two, one, easy, nice. Now, sink in with me, rate's coming down. Shore up your mechanics. If you're sitting slumped over, sit up. Open your eyes, watch me. Here's where we put in the good work. Focusing on mechanics when you're tired is critical, okay? Move with me, focus on the order of operations, and think about that drill. Arms away, body away, legs. Arms, body, legs. Here's where you really get to think. Get your mind in the right place. Nice. Here's just the cool down spin of it all. Here's where you take what you just did. Again, parents, this one's for you. You're thinking about, oh man, what are all the things I have to do with the rest of my day? But you know what? Now you don't have to count the workout as one of those things. Now you get to think, okay, I've treated me to me for a moment. How is this gonna benefit the rest of my family? How's this gonna benefit my kids? How's this gonna benefit everything else that I do in the day? Is it gonna give me more intention, give me more focus? That's why these cool downs are critical. It gives you a moment to process what you just did, not just running in after the workout and on to the next thing. Just a few more strokes here. Let's take five more together. One. Two. Put those handles down. Okay, let's move into a light stretch now. Take that right ankle, throw it up on the left knee. And give me a nice forward lean. Wipe that sweat off the brow. <laughs> Feel that stretch through that right glute, that right hamstring. Breathing. 
start to bring your heart rate down. Enjoy this kind of basking in the workout part. It's always the fun afterwards. Because you just know, okay, I did good stuff. So now I get to enjoy it. Now I get to benefit from it. Let's switch legs. Left hip is tight. This one feels nice today. Just know how much good you did for yourself. Be happy that you showed up to do something for you. And remember that this workout can be repeated four or five times a week. Come back to this. It's gonna help you learn how to row. It's gonna give you a great workout. And as you're getting started, as you're making this journey into this machine, you're gonna find that this is something that will continue to serve you until you feel like you're ready to take it the next step. Move up to the intermediate workouts or the advanced workouts. You have lots of options from here, but this is a great place to start. Okay, let's go ahead and take both feet up to the top of the foot stretchers. Okay, up to the top of the foot stretchers. And just give me a nice forward fold. Enjoying this straight leg forward fold. Welcome to let your head just drape. Just let your back round. The rest of the time, we're always so tense. We're striving for tension almost in the stroke. And when we get to stretching, it's nice to just be able to let go, let all your muscles truly relax. And as you're finishing this workout, as you're finishing this cool down, making sure that you hit that subscribe button and that bell next to it so that you get alerted when I come out with the next one of these that you can follow along with if you want continued diversity of your workouts. And then while we're at it, if you're ready to move on to the next level, you're looking for those intermediate stage workouts, slightly longer workouts with a little bit more attention and focus to some of the nuance of the stroke, check out our intermediate playlist right over here where you're gonna find those workouts to suit you going forward. Ah, just keep that stretch going. And at this point, just hang as long as it feels good. Whenever you feel ready, you can be done for the day. Just enjoy the stretch.